Okay, what we're going to do today uh, is how to avoid getting ripped off. You know, I'm not like you see a lot of these car flippers out here where they're really not flipping cars at all. They're going out here and getting paid for their services. Well, I'm not a mechanic and I don't push on, I don't feel like if you buy a car and you sell that car uh, after you've done uh, labor on it, that you should count your labor as profit. Uh, the people out there that claim to be making a thousand, twelve, fifteen hundred dollars a car, uh, after they repaired the car, are just getting paid for their labor in essence. And so uh, this is a way to check and make sure that you're getting treated fairly by any mechanic you choose to use. Now I want you to go up here and you'll see autolaborexpert.com. This is one of the many uh, sites that are out there, and it's what's called a flat rate manual. Every shop, uh, every major certified shop uses a flat rate manual. And I wanna log in here and show you a little bit about what you can find out by just verifying the repairs that you need done. First, you wanna diagnose your repairs. And then what you want to do is basically after the mechanic, you may have that diagnose your repairs. You log in here. You can see that this is going to give you the year, the make, model of the car that you want to look at. And let's look at a 2006. Uh, let's look at a Chrysler, for instance. And we want to go over here. We click on Chrysler. We go over here and we look at the model that we want. Uh, let's say uh, 300, uh, we identify which motor we're dealing with, a Hemi or regular full injected, fuel injected. So you're just going down and asking the type of vehicles. And then once you get there with your type of vehicle and the engine size, all this is self-explanatory. And then you will go in here and you will look, and these are the various parts of the engine. and Let's say that you're interested in an engine repair. And this is going to tell you gaskets, seals, ignition. You got to diagnose it, but your scanner will help you diagnose it. Checking on Google, checking your codes will give you a reasonably close diagnosis. So let's say that you've got uh, leaky valve cover gaskets. Well, we'll click on gaskets and seals here. And then we'll go down here to see uh valve cover gaskets and does it have air conditioning you'll answer those questions and select all and go here and it gives you the average hours uh to replace the valve cover gaskets on there you'll see that the high and that's for a reasonable slow mechanic almost three hours it could take them now, if I got a mechanic that's coming to me, I use a $25 an hour rate. He doesn't have the cost of a shop overhead. He doesn't have the cost of insurance. He's probably not insured. So I use a very conservative number of 21 or $25. So basically, my valve cover gaskets, I know through eBay I can get for around $10 to $15, paying three hours of labor to get that done at $25 an hour, that's going to vary on your comfort level level with your mechanic. So basically, plus my parts and my time on there, my cost to repair that car with leaky valve cover gaskets is going to be about $85 to $90, under $100. So I strongly recommend that you continuously get this information. I pay $10 a month to have access to a real-time labor guide. So when the mechanic walks in and is starting to explain to you, not to say they're being dishonest, they say, well, it's going to take a lot of time, and that's a major job. It's important for you to know how much time that it's going to take. So just keep everybody honest. That's all I'm saying. Make sure that everybody stays honest.